okay so let's talk really quickly what we are going to do here why and what tools we are going to use so you can see we will be working on scar model if you've been playing for example battlefield 4 you should be familiar with this weapon it's of course not the best weapon in the game i choose it mainly because it's the main shape of the weapon is relatively simple but don't worry we will have a lot of difficult different parts of the weapon covered so i hope tutorial tutorial will not be very boring for you with this weapon we will be making this kind of scope this kind of grip that we will add and some kind of laser sight so i think modeling the scope will be the most advanced advanced part if it's about modeling okay so let's talk right now about tools that we are going to use to make this weapon of course it's not the hardcore modeling tutorial i don't use tons of uh, weird and advanced modeling tools uh, i use relatively simple stuff so you can see i have bunch of icons on the shelf these icons on the shelf on, on the left side are mainly useless for me i keep them only here because i want my important icons on the right side because it's just more comfortable for me to have them here rather than on the the left side <coughs> so let's explain what we've got here the first one is center pivot very important tool you can press insert to change the the pivot of the object and really often you want to center it so center pivot and it's done next icon is freeze transformation so you can freeze transformation on this object and i use it really really often so so i have these two icons on the shelf so it's very important and also with these two icons i use really often uh, delayed by type history but i use uh, keyboard shortcut but you can find these options delayed by type history so i use it really often to to freeze everything cre clear history and, and maya sometimes works faster so the next two icons are just smooth and hard edges you can smooth set smooth you can find these options here soft edges and this one is hard edges same as here <coughs> okay next one is reverse normals sometimes it happens that you have to reverse the normals so i keep it on the shelf next one is combine so we can combine two objects and you see right now we have center of these two objects on the on the center of the grid so it's pretty useful to have center pivot in here and you can work the next one is split split tool i use it very often and these two are next so let's talk maybe first about this one let's edit this so 
so you can see I have this command and I have this on the shelf just because they removed this tool from the menus I don't know why they've add another new split polygon tool it's this one it works pretty okay but I like to use this old one very often I have to hit enter and it's sometimes better than this new tool but I still want to use the, the old split tool so in order to activate it you have to put this command in the command line and, and you have to press enter and you can use it so I've put this this one on the shelf to, to have quicker access to this tool so this this one before is inst what this do let me open it it's just instance with some parameters this one is for working on the, the symmetrical stuff let's say we want to make head and we want to work on the both sides at the same time so you see I have this this one part of the box and when I press instant we have now this second one the one thing you should have in mind is your uh, pivot point you should set it really on the center and now you can work on the both sides like this so the next tool is append when we have some holes in the, the model we want to close them we use append tool next one is merge selected vertices and you can see I use G key on the keyboard to repeat the last operation and you can see in channel box that we are what we are doing here we are merging vertices okay this one is delayed selected poly components we can delay edges this way we can delay vertices we can delay polygons it's a little bit different than hitting sometimes delays on your keyboard because sometimes when you for example delaying edges you are not delaying vertices and this might cause some problems so when you use this delayed you are you, you want to be sure that you are sure actu actually you are sure that this will delay not only edges but also vertices okay next tool is is this is some kind of push so let me show you what this will do when we activate it and when we hold this it allows you to push vertices along the normals sometimes it's useful so I keep it on the shelf where you can find it hmm. transform tools and move normal tool this is this one yeah move normal tool let me show you yeah this is actually the same yep so and uh, next icons of course some basic stuff like outliner to list for list of the objects UV editor, hypershade window, 
transfer maps and I use it a lot while working with some low poly stuff when I have to bake, of course, ambient occlusion normal map. SM01 M. <laughs> so you can see what we've got here and what will it, what it will do. Let's say you want to work with this subdivision surface mode. So the the default subdivision level is set to uh, 2, but sometimes I want to work on the lower level. Uh, so I don't have to, for example, go into attribute editor, smooth mesh and set it manually here. I can just press this icon and it will set previous division level to 1. Very useful because sometimes 2 is too high when you have a lot of object in the scene. So to optimize it a little bit I work with 1. And of course I have these icons in the one line but we are working here with the lower level uh, resolution for the recording so I have to scroll down I have the icons for the import export uh, what's here <coughs> this is a simple cut so you can cut the surface here's extract merge vertices extrude uh, really i don't use this icon i mainly use this this menu here extrude and we can work this way more comfortable than using extrude icon cut face is in plane here is some box icon and this one that we have tabbed. So these are the, the modeling tools that we are going to use. Of course I'm going to use some of some others that are not on the shelf, but I use it relatively not often. Like for example cleanup, sometimes I have to use these options but I don't have it on the shelf. Okay, so let's move right now to the UVs. I have another shelf just for UVs and let's talk about this for a second. So you can see I have some new icons here on the shelf. This shelf is just for making UVs. Of course I have these important icons like center pivot and freeze transformation they combine these are also very useful even with uh, while working with uvs so let's talk about this first one while working on the uvs we have to apply some kind of texture checker texture in order to see how our UVs are working so we don't have to create this material from scratch we have to just press CRT icon and our material checker material will be automatically created it's very useful we can check this material in our hyper site and you see this checker UV material was created it looks like this Let's open actually the script. The script might look very difficult, but the thing is you don't have to understand it. One thing you should do is put in here the path for your uh, UV uh, grid image. 
so you have to have on your hard drive some kind of UV grid image to use with this script and it will automatically create a shader for you. So you can change also the name of this material but you don't have to really the most important is this path here okay so we have also icon for applying this material so if you've changed the name in this previous script uh, you will have to change it also here but if you didn't you, you can leave it like it's right now what it will do it will just apply the checker material that we've created before to the to the object it's very useful because sometimes i don't want to go here and do it like this i can add it from here or we can add it just for one polygon and it will work okay so let's open maybe UV editor let's actually delete the UVs pull off this image and pull on shade the UVs okay so you can see I have three icons X Y and Z uh, they are also very useful this is how it, the script looks this one will have just the different letter in here X for X Y for Y and Z for Z of course what it will do it will just create a planar projection uh, accordingly to the to the axis so this for y and if i want to create this this one for z no it didn't work yeah it did work but i don't have to our uh, material assign so let's assign it to the object and this way when we create planner projection it will work just fine if we do the wrong of course we will get this kind of look if we do the right we have it like here So it's very useful to have these icons here because I don't want to open this window for example and work like this and click apply it's very annoying it's it's especially annoying when you have this window open and you open for example another window with the different options so this this one close and you just have to reopen it every time so you lose tons of time working like this you can speed it up using these icons on the shelf so i recommend really using this so i think that's it we can start working on our weapon and that's it thank you